What is up everybody? Welcome back to a tutorial Tuesday time. We got the Frank. He's taking a nap, so we got some coffee. We're gonna dive in to some auto-tune or pitch correction. Now, I don't know if you can follow me on Instagram, but you definitely should, at Brad Kemp Music. I just started a new segment on my Instagram called, What the f does that do? Where I'm gonna break down different plugins and different effects you can do in Logic, all on what I'm calling an Instabook, where you can swipe through the pictures and hear and see how I put different effects and how they actually affect the audio or the signal in Logic. So let's dive into some auto-tune, baby. Yeah. All right, so here is what we have. You'll recognize the melody, and please excuse my very out-of-tune singing. It's on purpose. And I, I will always love you. So there's a few different ways you can do auto-tune or pitch correction in Logic. The first is by far the easiest, and that is by using the Pitch Correction plugin. You'll find it right there under Pitch and under Pitch Correction. We're going to select it. Now I know what key the song is in because I just played this in. But if you don't know what key your song is in, you can easily figure it out by plunking around on an instrument until you hear the right thing, or you can leave it totally chromatic if you want it, which means including all 12 notes. So I know I'm an E major, so I can either just select the notes that I know are E major, or I could go change my scale to major scale, E would do the same thing. Now that we have the scale set, let's talk about the rest of the parameters. The normal versus the low, and we wanna look at our response. The detune, we're not gonna touch for right now. That's great if you're working with a sample that's maybe slightly in between keys, and you need to still use auto-tune, but you gotta bump it up a little bit, or down a little bit. We're gonna have it set on normal because I'm singing fairly high up, and the response is the main thing we're gonna talk about today. Now, with a really slow response, it's gonna take a long time. You can see it's 999 milliseconds for it to actually respond and get my note I'm singing to the correct pitch. And I, I, you can see at the bottom of the screen, right in here, the amount of pitch correction being done. I will always love you. Great, so it's really slow, you're barely gonna hear it working, but it will make the slightest difference. Now if I'm going with a natural voice and I want the auto-tune to be almost imperceivable, I might slowly work up the response until I get to the point where everything sounds nice and in tune, but it doesn't sound like T-Pain, it doesn't sound crazy auto-tune. <laughs> second cool way to use this particular plugin is by cranking down the response all the way to zero and we get that really fun auto-tune sound. And I, I will always love you. I will always love you. Obviously a very desirable sound, but it also is a very specific sound. So basically, the slower your response rate, the more you're gonna hear that auto-tune, and the more robotic and unnatural it's gonna sound. Now the second way we could auto-tune this or fix it, I'm gonna turn that off, is by using flex pitch. Now it's fairly easy, but it is definitely a lot more complicated than the actual auto-tune plugin. So we will select our track up here. If you don't, if you can't already see this under your track, you can click that little triangle. I'm gonna turn my flex mode on to flex pitch. And now when I double click on the region, and I view flex, you will see it all sort of like how a Melodyne or any other auto-tune plugins work. It'll actually be out on the piano roll and you can go through and edit it. So now when I play this, you can see. And I, I will always love you see all my little intonation problems and all my drifting. So the easiest way to do this, I could select all, right click, set to perfect pitch, 
it's gonna lock onto the grid and now I'm gonna go through and make sure I don't have anything too crazy out of my scale right why would I have an F I'm an E major so I'm gonna move that same thing here I could I could hear that I went a little bit too low on this note so I'm gonna pull it up to a B where I know I want it to be great and then the other big thing I can do is adjust some of my vibrato so just like before I'll select all if I crank down my vibrato all the way to zero I'm gonna sound like a, a robot and I, I will always love you. I will always... It's definitely less robotic than the actual plugin because this is a nicer processing of the audio. This note is still wrong. I'm fix that. But if I don't want it to sound that robotic, I can just pull my vibrato down a little bit and only pull it down on specific notes, and that will drastically help my pitch drift. Especially, you can see it moving up and down on some of those. And now, love you. In here, you can pull that way down. You. A lot smoother, a lot nicer. You get less of that shakiness. That is it for today. Make sure you let me know what you think with the like button. And as always, subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I.